I think I found the reason why we self-sabotage. And it might be a little bit abstract because it's just a theory that I've thought about, but I think it makes a lot of sense. And I, I want to share it with you because I hope maybe you'll agree with me. Or maybe you disagree and then we both learn. Okay, no hard feelings. So I was thinking that we self-sabotage because you are feeling like shit because you're being fake. So basically, when you're not being yourself, it's kind of like your soul, your truest self knows that you're not being yourself and it's making you like slowly kill yourself, self-sabotaging yourself, kill your career, kill your actual physical health just because it's mad at you for not being your truest form. So if you find yourself interacting with people and you're overthinking, you're anxious, something just doesn't really feel right, that's because you're not being yourself. You not being yourself is not necessarily someone that's suddenly a super big bully or acting out of character or is evil. It's way more subtle than that. It's you caring about if the other person likes you so you don't voice your opinion. It's you doing something because you're a people pleaser. It's when you don't really have an interest for something but you just do it because it's trendy. It's when you participate in overconsumption because everyone on TikTok buys everything they see. It's when you don't respect your boundaries. It's when you gossip, when you don't even feel like gossiping. It's all those little signs that you are not acting out of your truest values, your truest self, and then you kind of know that, like your soul knows that you're not being yourself. So it's going to make you try to soothe that pain that it that manifests itself from not being yourself, and you'll do it with self-sabotaging behaviors like, um, self-medicating or distractions or whatever but when you do that you won't be able to achieve your goals because if you're like me you're ambitious you're driven you have big dreams for yourself and you find yourself repeating those same patterns where you sabotage your own success for me when I started YouTube at the beginning I could not post more I could not actually follow through my YouTube schedule because I was just not being myself on YouTube if you look at my videos from like three years ago I was posting vlogs because I thought that that's what I was supposed to do everybody else was doing it and I was like oh I want to be a youtuber I don't really know what my niche is uh, what I want to post out there so I'm gonna just do what everybody else is doing and see if that works out and every time I would watch myself, I would cringe because it felt like it wasn't me and it felt like it wasn't really my purpose or what I was supposed to be doing. And then it made me not post, it made me procrastinate, it made me not want to do this even though I knew I wanted to do YouTube, but it made me self-sabotage my own success because I wasn't being authentic. But now that I do the videos that I do right now, where I do what I want, I actually sit down, I voice my opinion, I share my knowledge, I help you learn, that's what I want to do. That feels true to my most authentic self. And you know what? I couldn't care less of what people actually think of my videos. I feel like in the past when I would post vlogs, I was so afraid of what people thought of me. But me coming on, on here on YouTube and sharing valuable information that's helped me try to help you and create a community, that feels right. That feels like I'm following my intuition. And that's why I'm like, I don't self-sabotage anymore. It's so much easier for me to keep posting on YouTube because I do it in an authentic way. So I feel like authenticity is the key to stop self-sabotaging. So how do you become the authentic self? That version of you has never left. Realize it's inside of you, it's still there. It's just covered in dirt. It's covered in dirt from your bad thoughts, your bad habits, your bad environment. So you wanna clean that up. Like any dirt, you can clean it. And you clean it with healthy behaviors, healthy habits, healthy environment, healthy relationships. You just have to clean your whole life. That's why it's so important when people don't understand the purpose, oh, we're all gonna die one day, what does it matter that I eat clean food, I, I'm just gonna enjoy my burger. Well, that is actually putting dirt on your true authentic self because we know the science that fast food and processed food is bad for your mental health and your physical health. It's a fact. So. If you want to be your true authentic self, you cannot add dirt to your body. And if you want to be healthy again, if you want to clean yourself, you got to focus on you. Stop worrying about anything else. Stop worrying about other people. Focus on yourself. Be selfish because by being selfish and focusing on you, that is the best thing you can do for yourself and everyone else because people want to be around authentic people. People know when you're around someone that's being fake. 
and they can sense that and you don't want to be fake and then attract people that are fake as well and just have a fake little life you want to be your authentic self and by you being authentic you will attract authentic people in your life everyone is concerned about their own life so you need to start being concerned about yours stop trying to make everyone like you, it's not gonna happen. And the people that will love you for who you are are the people that will matter. And this is especially important for anyone that identifies as a people pleaser because you don't wanna keep being that same person and be 50, 60, 80 years old and realize that your whole life you've been living for other people when actually all you need to do is live for yourself. You are the only one that's living your life. So that version of you that is authentic inside of you, think of it as like your inner child that you're trying to heal. Because that version, that authentic self, is someone that is curious, that is playful, that is present. That's the version that you want to revive again. Because the fake self, the one that you walk around all day that's constantly worried about what other people think of you, that overthinks, that is anxious, that worries, is what's causing you so much suffering in your life. Because it's not real. And the real you is inside of you and can see that. And it's begging you to just wake up and, and revive them again. And that's your responsibility to do that. And you do that by doing those clean habits that I just talked about. You want to start feeling like a kid again. You have to act every day like it's your birthday. You know when you're a kid and it's your birthday, like you walk around feeling so happy to be you and you accept any gifts that come to you and you accept people's praise, like a healthy, you know, child felt like that. I'm sorry if you weren't that type of child, you have a lot of more healing to do, but it's not impossible, it's still there. I promise you, every child is in this awe of the moment Every child is just happy to be present and that's the version that you want to be. It's still there. The only reason why we aren't that child anymore is because we've learned life a little bit and we've associated our identity with our traumas and we start feeling bad for ourselves but it really isn't real anymore. Like the realest thing that is happening in our life right now is the present moment. So act like it's your birthday but not in a narcissist way. Like it's in a appreciative, grateful, fun, playful way where you're just enjoying the present moment and you're just happy to be there, you know? It's not like, oh, it's my birthday, do everything for me. It's like, oh, yes, it's my birthday, like, yay. You, you, like, you become in a state of mind where you receive things and allow things to come to you and you deserve good things to happen to you. You are a good person. You can only have good things happen to you if you're in a receiving state and kids are always in that receiving state because they, they allow like good things to happen to you. They're not like, oh, I don't deserve this. I'm not good enough. They don't have that little voice in their mind, but that's just a fake version of you that just attaches to pain and wants to feel sorry for themselves and feel like a victim. Like that's the version of you that you don't want to be. When you're facing tough moments now and you are angry, anxious and feel angry or sad and you want to indulge in your self-sabotaging behaviors because you want to soothe yourself this is exactly the moment where you need to sit with yourself and analyze how you feel and overcome them because this is where the most growth happens and you want that for yourself you want to be like a more evolved version of yourself you want to be your authentic self and that will only come if you are able to peel back layers just think that that painful moment is exactly what you need to be going through if you want to reach the next level if you want to level up it's like exciting when you're going through those hard times because you're like okay this is a time where I'm gonna learn because that you know every bad moments will pass so this is a time where you can learn instead of just letting it pass away without learning through it self-sabotaging and then just having the problem come back come back over and over again and then you're never gonna really amount to much and reach a bigger level for yourself and achieve your success because you're always gonna keep self-sabotaging so nowadays from now on if you feel something you just take a second to sit quietly with your feelings and analyze why you feel that way and i i don't know why it feels so simple to say and it feels like you could be listening to my advice right now and be like okay sure i'll do that but actually do it like when you feel shitty take a t some time to sit maybe think or write down how you're feeling and analyze it like it's a problem like you're literally doing math like you sit down with your feelings and you're trying to see why are you feeling this way is it rational how do i want to feel instead what can i do to feel differently this is how i got myself to post more on youtube because i told myself if I am being authentic, if I am being who I am, I should not care about posting because why would I be afraid of being who I am? This is who I am. I am the only person that can be me. 
There's nothing to be ashamed of. I just need to live it authentically. And the only reason why it, I would feel ashamed for how I act is if I didn't act like myself. Your self-sabotage will come in different ways. And sometimes it might come in the narrative you tell to yourself. So if you're someone that always tells like, Oh, why am I going through this? Why is life so hard for me? Why am I so unlucky? Bad shit always happens to me. Why is my life not easier? Why is my life not like them? All these narratives that you tell yourself is going to lead you to self-sabotage because it's going to feel like you have no control over your life. Instead, when you are facing a situation, just tell yourself, I'm built different. I'm a different breed. I'm going to go after it. Like, you throw this to me, let me show you. Like, you think you're going to disturb me with this bullshit you're throwing at me? Nah, I'm going to get after it. I'm going to overcome this because look at me. I'm stronger than that. It's just, uh, I don't know, just the change of narrative that I tell myself in my mind when I face something, it's like, bring it on. Bring it the fuck on. I'm ready to tackle anything. Nothing can stop me. Another way to really feel authentic is to take a moment and pause and realize this is my life. This is the only thing that matters is the life I'm living right now in this present moment. There's no point in choosing suffering, suffering when I can choose peace. This life is all about existing and being. It's not about doing things. It's not about sacrifice. It's not about pain. It's really about being present. Thank you for listening. I hope this was valuable in some way. This is really new for me. I literally just thought about this today and I figured I would film a video about it. So I didn't really put too much thought into it, but I think I'm onto something and I wanna dig deeper into how to live your most authentic self because I really think that that's what's making me so happy nowadays is when I feel so connected to my true being. And I think spirituality helped me a lot in that, but again, I'll try to expand more into that into other videos but i need to take some time to reflect about how i feel and kind of analyze this whole new journey that i'm on so yeah thank you for listening i will see you tomorrow in a new video and i love you so much